Hi, I'm in the New Testament today. I'm in the Gospel of Luke. Luke chapter 9 tells a number of very important stories. One of them is the story of how Jesus asks the disciples, who do you say that I am? And Peter finally comes out with, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Now that's repeated in some of the other Gospels, and some of the other Gospels may be uh, more familiar to us than that one in Luke 9. But nonetheless, Jesus does ask that, and that's when Luke records that in this passage. In that same chapter, there is the story of the transfiguration. Again, it's in other uh, Gospels as well, but uh, it's here in Luke chapter 9. It struck me that as I was reading that recently, that in Luke 9, uh, at the end of the transfiguration, God says from heaven, he speaks with an audible voice, this is my beloved son, listen to him. Now, I don't know exactly what intonation and what inflection God gave at that particular time. All we have are the words. The translators that translated into English usually put an emphatic exclamation point there because they want us to understand that this is an emphatic statement. And, and that probably was something of what God intended that way. But a few verses later, it's very interesting that he says Jesus himself tells the people that they are supposed to listen to him again. In verse 44, it doesn't use the words listen to him, but he says, apply these things in your mind. Think about them. Meditate on them. Absorb these things. Now we find this, you know, that's a theme of what these particular uh, devotions are about. We find this again and again and again and again in Scripture. And there's a reason why God has to keep reminding us of that. Because we have short memories. Because we fail to fully grasp that. We need to be people who, who look intently at the scripture. We need to focus upon what the words and the text say. I know people in my day that, that will say, yes, the scripture is God's word, but they never read it. They'll say, yes, the scripture is authoritative, but the only parts that they know are a few proof texts here and there. But the scripture wants and, and calls us to read it again and again, to listen to the voice of Jesus as he speaks, not just through the incidents of the transfiguration and the, uh, and the testimony of Peter and Peter's confession, not just through the, uh, in, in, um, the, the various different stories of Jesus there, but it wants us to listen to his words. Listen to his instruction. Think about it and focus on it. Now I know, I, I say that regularly. And it's, and it's because I see in our world a diminishing of the importance of Scripture. That's why every uh, devotion that you hear in this format starts off with a verse of scripture. What I have to say is immaterial. What the scripture says is so very important. You need to understand that before I record any of these, I specifically ask God to make his word known through this. If there's anything that I say that you question, if there's anything that I say that is not consistent with that scripture, erase it, get rid of it, don't, don't adhere to it. But on the other hand, if what is being said here is consistent with God's word, listen to it, believe it, forget the messenger, listen to the word.
Listen to the focus of what God is saying, because this is his revelation. And I prefer, really, that word, the word revelation, because it is God's revealing of himself to you and me. You know, I, I sometimes will say uh, that, that when I was starting to uh, date my wife, I could have hired a private investigator to find out everything about her. Uh, the, that private investigator would have found out about her family and all of her background or education, all of those things. But there was a difference between knowing about her and knowing her. And so it is with us. When we read the scripture ourselves, we get to know him and we find out his revelation of himself. And that's why we study the scripture. That's why we listen to it. And that's why we, we want him to reveal himself through it. Father, I ask you to help us to be intent about the study of your word. There is nothing, literally nothing, in this world that is more important than your revelation to us. And I ask you to give each of us that consciousness, that awareness, that discernment. Thank you for your grace and faithfulness. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Hope you have a wonderful day today.